Well, uh, good evening and welcome to part four of our four-part series called uh, Turn On, Tune In and Move Out. And this is the final day of our four-part series where we're looking at moving out. We're looking at actually putting into practice the things that we are believing and the things that we're trusting in and the things that we believe God has said. There comes a time when actions speak louder than words. And tonight what I want to do is just give you three very quick things this isn't an, an exhaustive list, but these are three things, three focus areas where we can actually put our words into practice. So the first thing that we can do and that we can focus on is putting our house in order. Um, I'm sure just like, just like me, you've seen a lot of videos like this where someone has chosen the nicest spot in their house, the cleanest spot in their house. They've uh, brushed their hair, they've put on a good shirt and um, the presentation that you see is good and, uh, and it looks wonderful but you have no idea what's behind this camera you don't know if there's a pile of dirty dishes a mile high you don't know if we haven't done laundry in four weeks you don't know the the, the state of of my house you know just that which i've chosen to present to you um, and and often our lives are like that we present something to the world that is the, the best version of ourselves that we try and present. But meanwhile, um, back at home, there are things that need to be put in, in order. And revelation is the first part. The second part is adjustment. In fact, revelation is simply an invitation to make adjustments. And the Bible says we go from glory to glory. And the way that we do that is that God reveals things to us and then we make the adjustments. And it is not God who needs to make the adjustments, but us. In Psalm 139, verse 23 to 24, David says, Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there's any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. So during this time um, of, of lockdown and whatever the, the next weeks hold for us, um, I would encourage you, really, really encourage you, to, to put your house in order, those things, those areas that you've swept under the rug and that you haven't dealt with, allow God to lead you into a place of freedom where you can get those things out in the open and get them, get them dealt with. So that's the first thing that you can do. You can get your house in, in order. Uh, we believe that the, there's an invitation to rediscover the wonder of repentance, holiness, and the fear of the Lord in this time. The second thing that we can do is that we can pray. This has come up time and time again. Anyone with any discernment will just tell you that God is, is once again highlighting the importance of prayer. In Thessalonians, it says this, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. You want to know what the will of God is for, for your life? It's simply this, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, um, and, and there really is, uh, I mean, God has chosen to highlight the importance of prayer by saying, pray without ceasing. In James, it says, the prayer of a, of a righteous person is powerful and effective. In Mark, it says, therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. In Romans, it says, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. And in Psalms, it says, the Lord is near to all who call on him, to all those who who call on him in truth. So we are, are, are being invited to rediscover the authority that we have and how we exercise that authority. One of the ways is through prayer. So we, we encourage you to, to pray like you have never prayed before, uh, to pray, to be faithful in prayer and to pray without ceasing. And then the third thing that we can do is we can spread the kingdom message. Uh, Matthew 5, 13 to, to 16 tells us that we are the salt and the light of the earth. And right now the earth is crying out for something of the flavor of God, is crying out for the hope and the peace and the joy that, that only God can bring, is crying out um, for, for something to be led to a place of repentance where their lives can go from a place of death and destruction to a place of life. So put your house in order, pray without ceasing, and spread the kingdom message. And if we can focus on those things, and we can do those things with all of our hearts, I think we will do well during this time. So God bless you. And once again, there's a document that is on our website that you can go and just see a little bit more detail, uh, all the things that we've explained through this series.
So God bless you.